just arrived back at the house did a bunch of work in the cafe this morning so that's good no way <laughs> It's arrived. It's been a long wait, weeks and weeks. I ordered it, I can't even remember how long ago I ordered it. But I did order it, and it's finally here. They sent the wrong one initially. They, ah, screw it, I don't care about the story. Let's just open it. Okay, I can smell fuel. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm gonna have to sit down. Truthfully, I'm so excited. I need to sit down. Calm. Ah, screw it. So, I think that's oil. Some electrical cables. Some tubing for fuel and... I think that could be the fuel pump. It looks electronic-y, but it also looks mechanical-y. Mechanic? Me I think that's the fuel pump. Now I know what this is, take a look at that. Now that's a muzzle for my dog. It's not really a muzzle for my dog. I don't have a dog. This is actually to stop grit and bits of stuff going into the turbine. It's kind of like a, like a guard because you know, you get a bit of grit or a twig or a leaf or something, whatever going into the turbine. Explosions, lots of money disappearing up in flames. So that's that. There's not much left in here. Oh, right. I got an email this morning about this. Now this is an LCD touchscreen, I believe. The guy I bought this from upgraded me to this for free because there'd been such a wait and a delay and you know, they had sent the wrong turbine. So that's pretty cool. Apparently the new models are coming up with this, but I got an upgrade for free. Don't know what this is. I think that's like how the radio connects and tells the turbine what to do, like, you know, go faster, etc. ESC, electronic speed controller maybe, or receiver or something, I, I don't know. battery so obviously this thing needs a battery that is some heavy duty cable on that battery I'm apprehensive of the amount of amps that's got to go through that before it needs such a heavy duty cable it'll be interesting okay here it is oh that's just a bit of bubble wrap Smells. It's obviously been run before. It really doesn't look like it would cost two thousand dollars. Okay, so let's just quickly cover what's arrived. Manual. Oil, I think. Electrical cables. Dog muzzle. Fuel pump. Electronic box thing. 
touch screen LCD thing, battery with heavy duty cables, and a turbine. Look at that. That is a beast. You know what? I think we should see what it kind of might look like on a skateboard. Unbelievable. That's what it's going to be like. I don't know if I'll use this board though, but nevertheless, I think that's... There's an X factor to that. There's definitely an X factor. Oh yes, it is happening. The jet powered skateboard's gonna look something like that. So, oh, it spins. It really does smell. Paraffin, I believe. Something like that. I don't think the light's good enough for you to see. There we go, look at that. Hopefully you can see that spinning. Let's see what the other side looks like. I really don't know anything about these engines. Like, I can't sit and tell you like, oh, it does this, it does this, it does this. I think the only things I know are that it spins very fast. 143,000 RPM, something like that. Because this is the K100, I know that means it's got 100 newtons of thrust, which is around about 10 kilograms of thrust, or around about 22 pounds for you imperial folks. I think it burns a lot of fuel. Something like one to two liters of paraffin every five minutes, which is a lot. I know that the temperature of the exhaust gets up to something like 900 degrees centigrade. It's not as heavy as I thought it would be. It's pretty light. It's amazing that these go inside like, these are meant for aircraft, you know, for, you know, a, a model jet aircraft doing like 200 miles an hour through the sky. No, I'm not gonna be doing anything like that. A skateboard is more my style. <laughs> Now I've got to test it, get it up and running and, and make sure it works first of all. I bought the controller the other day, so we've got that. I can get paraffin from anywhere. All the other stuff you saw, the oil, the electronics, everything, the battery, it's all ready to go. I might need to get a charger for the battery, but that would be about it. What I just need to do now is make some sort of frame to hold it, and that's it.